right, we are hitting a dreaded target. Let's see if we get anything good. I'm looking for some VC Star Wars. Anything good, anything new. This place usually picked apart pretty well, so there's no real hopes of getting much new stuff, but we shall see. And as we come up to the Star Wars, it looks like not much. I think that was wiped out. Never anything real good. A lot of baby Yodas. Seems like nobody really wants the baby Yodas anymore, but we're going to go on. Look at the Marvel section. See if we can find anything good there. I know a lot of people do these hunts, but I see a lot of people on the East Coast, but this is West Coast hunting. Still got masks on in Oregon. We're going to take a peek, see. See if anything good. There's the Marvel section. There's some wrestling for those that like wrestling. China, Ripley, whatever that is. The Marvel section. Yeah. Maybe that we don't ever really see before. Uh, some Joes. Commander, Flint, Lady Jane, Lady Jane. Okay. We're in the DC section. Nope. Hot Wheels are pretty wiped out. Yeah, not looking like a lot over here. If there's anything down this way. It's not looking good around here. It's kind of the same old stuff you see. Oh, that guy's kind of cool. The boomerang guy from Super Mario. Never seen that before. That's pretty interesting. Those of you that like the wrestling guys, there's some. We got from wrestling. Of course, all these He Man that nobody wants. Panther Lord. Looks funny. Let's go on to. Let's look at the Legos real quick. I was kind of like looking at the Legos. Lego side up. Oh, looks like Legos are pretty wiped out. Looks like they got this. Batman, Mario. It's like a whole bunch of the same. Yeah, I'm not seeing a ton here, but let's so go onwards to collectible sections. Kind of Funko Pops all wiped out. It's like the same old, same old. Huh, it's a bad batch. Fig pin, that's kind of cool. Yeah, oh look, there's a tiny little gizmo. I like this little gizmo. Let's get attached here. It's kind of a beanbag gizmo. Yep, looks like. This target is a bust. I guess better luck on the next one, maybe. We'll see. All right, here we are. We find ourselves at target number two. Target number two on the docket. See if we can find anything amazing in this store. I'm not really expecting to find a whole lot, but target number two, we're counting on you. Uh, so hopefully we can find something cool. Uh, I did find something cool at the end of the uh, that last one. Uh, something to kind of go with the razor crest display once that thing comes out um, But I'll show you that at the end here. So hold on a second. Let's get into target All right, so this target's set up more traditionally so we go into the Star Wars section first and it's wiped out Look at this Absolutely nothing. A couple things for your wrestling fans It's like yeah, not a whole lot of lovely some Ghostbusters. Oh, that's kind of cool. This He Man Faker. That looks pretty awesome. And I like these. There's the evil things. Some Battle Cats. Of course, Space Jam. And Jack Sparrow. Not a whole lot doing. John Hammond. Let's go on to the DC side. Marvel. Looks like, yeah, a whole lot of nothing doing over here. Transformer, 
with the rest. Skull Joker, Black Spider Man. If it wasn't so cartoony, I'd probably get the Black Spider Man. But yeah, nothing. Nothing even a Marvel. Not even a peg warmer. Uh, so Pikachu's. You choose you. Yeah. Uh, looks like a whole lot of nothing doing. Clearance is wiped out. Uh, let's go on. Let's try to take a look at Lego. It's a whole lot of the same old, same old. I do like the Harry Potter Lego chess set. That'd be kind of fun to get, but I guess I do have a bunch of chess sets that I don't already use, so. Uh, I do like that they did the Grief Karga and the Troop Transport. Of course, we got the Bad Batch. Those guys are pretty cool. Not looking to get too into that, though, so I'll be getting that. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Brand new Mando Lego set. I might be grabbing that. That is pretty cool. It's, yeah, there's a couple of them on here, but pretty awesome. Lego sign here. Yeah, nothing doing here. Let's check out the collectible section. All right, collectible side. I like a pretty cool Goku. I like that Goku. Drill Grod. Batman. Peacemaker Unmasked. Never seen that. That's pretty sweet. It's the shark build a figure. It's got Red Ranger, some Dexter. Of course, Billy Eilish and Clown. Nothing doing there, though. You don't want none of that. Funko Pops. That looks like Evil Lynn and Delbert. That's kind of fun. Uh, Iron Man. I would have liked to have found a two-pack for the Karate Kid, but they do have Mr. Miyagi. That's pretty fun. I guess if I had the Johnny and the Daniel, I'd probably get that. Um, but yeah, not looking like a whole lot of much here. Cool Godzilla. Yeah, cool Godzilla. It'd be cool if they did them back like they did them back in the day with the sparks and the smoke coming out of their mouth and all that, but looks like I'm just coming home with this bad boy. Well, I thought it was coming up dry, but I did find that cool Lego set. That was pretty unexpected. I didn't even know that set was coming out. It's pretty cool to get an armor minifig and then they have the heavy Mando. Uh, so that's pretty exciting, but yeah, stay tuned here for a second, and I'll show you what I got that's going to go with my three and three quarter inch Razor Crest when that comes from HasLab. Rise and shine, it is early. Our local Walmart, see if we get the figures. Early bird gets the figures. Going to the Walmart. Let's see if we can find anything good. Probably not. All right, this Walmart is always pretty well picked over. I don't expect to see much, but we're going to look anyways. See if we get lucky today. See all these empty pegs. Empty, empty, empty. Oh, looks like they got some cool Joes. Cobra Officer. I don't think raise. Maybe we'll pick one of these up for my buddy. He's a Joe's guy. Oh, well, snag one of these guys. Let's see the cover officer, but it's a little banged up. Oh, looks like we got a Storm Shadow. That might be well worth picking one up of. Looks like we got some Avatar. All oh, these guys. Sokka. Too. It's like they don't even have any Star Wars. It's like nothing. Star Wars is a dead zone. It's like all these empty pegs. Kind of want one of these. Avatar figs, though. I kind of like the Avatar figs, but. Aang. Yeah, Zuko. Kind of like the Zuko. I'll grab one of those. 
little pile. I guess maybe we'll get one of these. Maybe we'll get a Sokka. No. Yeah, I guess we'll pick up a Sokka too. A tiny little pile. Not too bad, but yeah, nothing really else. Here's Lego Land. Got the Avengers Advent Calendar. That's pretty sweet. Spider Man. Other stuff. Nothing doing though. Alright, let's go check out the collectible section. This place has a weird tiny little collectible section. Never have much. But. Neck are pretty picked over. Looks like a Goku Black. I've been kind of wanting one of these gizmos for my baby. I might pick up one of these for my baby. Just because. Uh, guess onwards to the next store. Alright, found a little bit more at that Walmart than I was expecting. Yeah, a couple things for somebody else. Couple things for me, a thing for the baby. Maybe I'll save those avatar figures for when the baby gets big enough to enjoy them. Here's the Target. We're walking in, we're hopeful. This Target's well picked over. This town is full of collectors, so it's impossible to find anything. Um, but we'll see. We're hopeful. Alright, back to this Target again. Let's see, let's see. Star Wars. Wiped out as usual. Looks like we got one VC collection figure. Lando, I'll bust it up. Empty shelf, empty shelf. Oh, there's a shoulder Grogu. Little shoulder pad things he put on. And Darth Vader lightsaber. But yeah, Star Wars is thin as usual. Let's see what we can find over up Lego. A lot more empty shelves. Same old, same old. Imperial shuttle, that's cool. Thomas the tank engine, cars. I don't need any of that though, right? That's cool. Batmobile. Alright, onwards to Marvel. Nothing good at Marvel. Shang-Chi, Invisible Woman. G.I. Joe's. Global Power Rangers. Alone Transformers. Looks like we got a Grimlock. Some more Grimlock action. I always love the Grimlock and the Dinobots. Her Power Rangers. Not much doing there. Some all the same old DC. Lots of these Jokers. I wonder if any of those are ever going to go on clearance because there's so many of those at every store. Hot Wheels. Not much. Side, see what we can see. Pokemon, some Eevee, Mario. So we got some of the wrestling. Same old Masters of the Universe. Same old Space Jam. Same old Jurassic Park. Nothing is new. Again. Collectibles. Looky, looky. Anything good? Stranger Things. Cool Godzilla. Funko Pops. Wonder Woman Flash. Gorilla Grodd. Same stuff. Not very many pops. Ugh. This is kind of cool. Cool Halloween guy. Did you like it? I don't want this, but. Alright, on to target number two. I don't really get much chance to do a bunch of toy hunts, maybe once a week if I'm lucky. There. It's early morning, the lady and the baby are still sleeping. Had to go take care of some recycling, so here we are at Target. 
Number two, last stop of the day. Oh, target. Oh, target. Can you not have something good, something new, something sweet? Samuel Masters of the Universe. Peg warming Landos. Poor Lando. Bunch of Grogu's as usual. Some Ghostbusters stuff. I kind of like that Ghostbusters blaster, but. Some wrestling action. Let's go on to. What are we going on to? What are we looking at? There's cars. Bakugan. Wiped out Marvel section. Nothing going on there. Empty pigs everywhere. Transformers even. Wiped out. Ugh. A lot of nothing. A lot of nothing. Some Lego action. Still got the Bad Batch set. Harry Potter stuff. I like this Kylo Ren. Ship and uh, the Mandalorian ship is pretty sweet too. But nope. Looking for some more train track for my Lego train set. But nothing going on there. Train track's hard to find these days on the shelf. All right, 0 for 2 at Target's. A total bust on these stores this morning. Uh, at least the Walmart scores kind of saved the day. Didn't make the day a total loss as far as my small hunting window goes. But on to home, and I guess we'll show you what I got a recap there at the Walmart. All right, welcome back from Target. So, you know, you saw what I did get uh, there at the end. Very last thing. This kind of saved the day as far as uh, toy hunting goes. This is pretty awesome. I mean, I don't need another Mandalorian minifig, but it's pretty awesome to get the heavy Mando minifig. I can get this to not be so blurry and get kind of a close in there. Yep, there you go. There's the Heavy Mando minifig. It's pretty awesome to see that guy. Get the armor. Because I've got a bunch of other Mandalorian Legos. It's actually kind of the only Legos I'm actually even buying at the moment. I do have a Lego Voltron, but yeah, as far as new Legos coming out, I'm only buying the Mandalorian stuff. Um, so that was pretty awesome to come across. But I did find something amazing to go along with my Razor Crest display. Um, once I get that in the mail, and it's supposed to be coming in October, so hopefully that'll come pretty soon. But before we get out of here, too, I've got a mail call. Uh, i got a cool old figure in the mail from the 80s, so we'll check that out. Uh, but this I found to go with my Razor Crest display, and I have, like, the Land of the Jawas, uh, the old vintage um, Star Wars, you know, little sand crawler cardboard cutout thing, and I've got a bunch of Jawas uh, to go with that. Uh, so I'll put that with the Razor Crest and this thing. This thing is amazing. It is a bone snake. As you can guess, it's going to be a crate dragon just kind of sitting in the background of my display once I finally get that kind of put out. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty long. And it seems to be like right kind of scale as far as the crate dragon we saw in Return. You know, Star Wars A New Hope in the background when R2 and 3PO are walking by. And you see the crazy uh, big snake skeleton in the background. Um, I'm going to have to relook at it though and see if maybe I'll have to like doctor up. Maybe some like kind of horn things kind of coming off of here. Maybe give it a little bit of a paint job. Uh, but still pretty cool to find, you know, kind of a little bonus win at the end of kind of a otherwise not successful uh, day of toy hunting. Uh, but before we get out of here, uh, let's check out what we got in the mail. Uh, I'm pretty close to getting this set complete. I think after this one, I only need like three or four, maybe five figures. And of course, they're the more like, you know, pricey ones. Of the rare ones, I think it's like the Falcon, and I need what else? The Falcon, uh, blah, 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 the Constrictor. Constrictor, I guess, is the really one hard one to find because that one is a European exclusive. And I'm talking about the old Secret Wars figures, and I finally got the original Secret Wars uh, Spider Man figure. And this is pretty cool because, uh, as you may or may not know, this is the very first Spider Man action figure of this size. So, you know, before that, they had, like, the Mezco or whatever they were, the kind of, like, doll-looking ones, but they never had this size of action figure for Spider-Man until uh, these figures came out. 
Uh, so that's pretty awesome. A little bit of paint wear on the chest, but yeah, I'm not too picky. It was cheap. I don't really care. I just kind of want, you know, one of each. And as you've seen maybe in my other videos, maybe I haven't shown it, but I got, you know, a bunch of my Secret War set, like the Daredevil's face um, paint's kind of rubbed off or whatever else. But that's actually the Daredevil I had from when I was a kid. Uh, but yeah, beyond that, uh, I'll see you guys soon.